empowering resilience, conquering difficult people with stoicism and modern wisdom. Tolerance is a virtue often overlooked, yet its power is immense. Drawing from Stoic philosophy, we find that embracing tolerance can profoundly impact our lives, guiding us through challenges with grace and resilience. Stoicism, with its emphasis on virtue, offers a unique perspective on tolerance and respect. Marcus Aurelius, a Stoic emperor, once said, Whenever you are about to find fault with someone, ask yourself the following question. What fault of mine most nearly resembles the one I'm about to criticize? This quote underscores the importance of self-reflection in fostering tolerance. Tolerance isn't just about enduring others' differences or faults. It's a crucial element of personal growth and well-being. It challenges us to expand our perspectives and embrace a more harmonious approach to life's inevitable conflicts. However, it has its limits, especially when it compromises our core values or well-being. The relationship between self-respect and tolerance is intricate. A high level of self-respect can empower us to set healthy boundaries, thus influencing our tolerance towards disrespect. It's about balancing acceptance with the courage to stand up for ourselves when necessary. Dealing with difficult people is a test of tolerance. Seneca, another Stoic philosopher, provides insights into understanding the narcissist. Recognizing their traits can be the first step in managing our interactions wisely, preserving our peace amidst their turmoil. Dealing with a narcissist can be draining, yet Stoicism offers a path to peace. Stoics like Seneca teach us the value of understanding over reaction. By recognizing a narcissist's actions reflect their own issues, not ours, we maintain our tranquility. Stoicism advises us to focus on what we can control. In the case of the narcissist, this means our responses. By staying calm and detached, we avoid giving them the emotional response they seek, preserving our inner peace. When encountering the passive-aggressive type, wisdom from Epictetus comes to the fore. He suggests that our irritation stems not from their actions, but our interpretation of them. By reframing our perspective, we disarm their passive aggression. Handling interactions with the passive aggressive requires a stoic patience. Epictetus teaches us to accept what we cannot change, including others' behaviors. This acceptance allows us to respond with calmness, avoiding unnecessary conflict. The manipulator poses a unique challenge, yet Stoicism provides tools for resilience. Recognizing manipulation as an attempt to control, Stoicism teaches us to focus on our own actions and integrity, thus maintaining our self-respect in the face of deceit. Marcus Aurelius once emphasized the significance of setting boundaries as a testament to self-respect. He taught that understanding our limits is crucial in maintaining our inner peace amidst external chaos. In the modern context, assertively setting boundaries with difficult individuals requires clear communication and consistent enforcement. It's not about confrontation, but rather about expressing our needs and expectations respectfully and firmly. The power of indifference to disrespect is a stoic practice of emotional detachment. It involves not giving external opinions the power to disturb our inner tranquility, thus freeing us from the grip of others' judgments. Cultivating indifference is essential for personal freedom. It allows us to navigate life's challenges with ease, focusing on what truly matters to us without being swayed by every passing opinion or criticism. Empathy plays a crucial role in dealing with difficult people, as per Stoic teachings. It involves trying to understand their perspectives without necessarily agreeing, thereby fostering a more tolerant and compassionate approach to conflicts. Empathy plays a crucial role in Stoicism, teaching us to understand others without losing our core values. Developing empathy helps us navigate difficult interactions with grace, ensuring our tolerance doesn't translate to weakness. To cultivate empathy, Stoic practices encourage us to view situations from others' perspectives. This doesn't mean compromising our beliefs, but understanding the motives behind actions. Such insight leads to more effective and compassionate responses to challenging behavior. Self-awareness is key in maintaining tolerance and managing disrespect. By reflecting on our reactions and why certain behaviors trigger us, we can respond more thoughtfully. Stoicism teaches us to observe our emotions without being ruled by them. 
Stoic exercises to enhance self-awareness include journaling and meditation. These practices help us recognize our patterns, contributing to personal growth. As our self-awareness increases, so does our ability to handle difficult situations with equanimity. Knowing when to take action or walk away is a balance Stoicism addresses. Sometimes the most empowering choice is letting go of toxic relationships. This aligns with Stoic wisdom on focusing on what we can control, our responses and personal growth. Embracing challenges, including the presence of difficult people in our lives, is central to the Stoic concept of Amor Fati. This love of fate encourages us to see every obstacle as an opportunity for growth and resilience. By adopting this mindset, we not only cope with adversities, but also find joy in them, transforming our struggles into sources of strength. Applying Amor Fati in daily life requires a shift in perspective. It's about recognizing that every experience, pleasant or unpleasant, has value. This approach fosters greater happiness and resilience as we learn to welcome life's ups and downs with open arms, seeing them as essential to our personal development. The significance of community and support cannot be overstated when dealing with difficult individuals. Surrounding ourselves with understanding and like-minded people provides a buffer against negativity. It's through this supportive environment that we can find solace and strength, enabling us to face challenges with a collective resilience. Creating a supportive environment is crucial for personal growth. Stoic advice on choosing our circle wisely reminds us that the company we keep can influence our peace and progress. By selecting friends who reflect the values we aspire to, we ensure a nurturing environment that promotes our well-being and helps us deal with difficult people more effectively. Courage plays a pivotal role in confronting disrespect and toxic behavior. Stoic strategies teach us to cultivate bravery and stand up for ourselves in a respectful manner. This courage is not about aggression, but about asserting our dignity and setting boundaries firmly yet gracefully. Cultivating courage is essential in addressing disrespect and toxic behavior. Stoic wisdom teaches us to confront challenges with dignity and self-respect. By practicing Stoic strategies, we can learn to stand up for ourselves assertively and respectfully. Self-care and mental health are foundational in maintaining our tolerance threshold. Incorporating both Stoic and modern practices into our daily routine enhances our emotional well-being, enabling us to face difficult situations with strength and clarity. Reflecting on Stoic teachings and contemporary strategies for managing difficult people offers valuable insights. These lessons empower us to navigate challenging interactions with wisdom and patience, fostering personal growth and healthier relationships. In conclusion, Stoicism doesn't merely teach us to tolerate life's challenges, but to actively engage with them to improve our lives and relationships. By embracing Stoic principles, we can transform our approach to adversity, cultivating a more fulfilling existence. Empowering ourselves to shape our lives and relationships for the better is at the heart of Stoic philosophy. It encourages us to see beyond mere tolerance, inspiring us to foster resilience, happiness, and a deeper sense of personal freedom.